Hello everyone, this is April, the artist behind Invoke Art Sins. So I bring you another video after a few weeks or more of a break because I have been sick and, and other things. But this video is a new unboxing, as you can see. It, this is Zen Pop from uh, Japan. And this box I have seen from Drawing with Waffles. And I've wanted it for a while and I finally decided to get uh, their March box and this box is $30 every month and it's got stationery and it's not really an art uh, subscription box but I'm going to make art with it so let's get started so so the box actually is designed uh, so well I love the design see on the on the inside of the box there's this character, and I already know this character's name is Luna. It's a bunny. So it's pink inside, and the box outside is purple. They also have a snack box and a ramen box. Uh, so, but I haven't tried those yet, just the stationary box. So, this is, uh, this month is called Pastel Fairy Tale March to 2020. Stationary uh, pet. From Osaka to you. And this is their character Luna uh, right here. Spring, the season of love is right around the corner. This month is full of pink and, and pastel color stationery with fairies, flowers, hearts, or ribbon designs. You will also get a scheduled notebook for 2020, started in February. And another original Zen Pop goodie. Enjoy this pastel fairy tale. And I have been wanting a schedule. Um, I don't do bullet journals, but a schedule a notebook, a daily journal, that'll be great. And they include this. This includes all the items included. And we'll get to each of them when we look at the, the each item. And they also have winners. If you if you get this box, you can you can be creative and join the monthly uh, stationery challenge, and they will pick a lucky winner every month to receive a Zen Pop box of their choice. And maybe I'll do that. I'm not quite sure yet, but just uh, use the stationery that is included in your planner, bullet journal, study notes, or anything, and snap a photo, share it on Instagram with hashtags. Hashtag made with Zinpop or hashtag Zinpop Japan and follow at Zinpop Japan and they pick winners by a random draw. And I have saw I saw another uh, person unboxing and they include different colors with every box and I'm a little disappointed with I opened this before I actually made this video I was a little bit excited. But I uh, got they have different papers for different color papers for everyone's box, and so this look this is the the daily agenda, the agenda, they call it a schedule, a schedule notebook. That's what they call it a schedule notebook, or I just call it a planner. And I love how small it is. I love the design, a um, planet theme, monthly and note. Oh, well, I know in Korea when I lived there they call note um, is pretty much just the word for notebook, and and you do make notes in in these. You have all the months 2020, 2021, and then starting from February. until 2021 20, March and then you have like oh these will be good for like Korean you know writing in Korean in the boxes that's how I how I I um, learned Korean a little bit or math or just notes in general and then your personal data in the back oh and this is what it says in the notes over here and it, 
it says it starts in February that we saw. It may be unusual, but Japanese schedules start from April. The start of their school year is in April. Uh, so it has a few bonus months. So I guess it'll be like for us, it starts in January and then we have December, or maybe, maybe November, December in the previous months uh, for our calendars. So this is why they have February starting first because their school year starts in April. Something you might want to know. And actually when I lived in Korea, it, the calendars are different too because their school years are not the same. Okay, this is an eraser, a piano eraser. No, not eraser, excuse me. This is a piano sharpener. It's actually quite cute. I don't even wanna use it. This is a Sanrio piano pencil sharpener. Oh, and they, they include one of four characters in these boxes. Hello Kitty, My Melody, Bon Bon Ribbon, or Mukul Dreamy. And this is Mukul Dreamy. I got the cat, or Hello Kitty's cat too, but this is Mukul Dreamy. So it's a random, you don't, you won't, it's not all the same in all boxes. And the next item. BGM masking tape and this is really small why well, and then the agenda is pretty small so it would be why it's so small this is a pink ribbon washi tape five millimeter washi tape with adorable ribbon pattern this is Luna's favorite way to use washi tape Luna's favorite way to use washi tape is in her planner or on gift cards to her friends. And this item I saw, uh, and I know that from another video, that when you start erasing it, it turns into Mount Fuji. So, and the item I was really looking forward, forward to in this box, Little Fairy Tale Story. So, this month is called Pastel Fairy Tale. What kind of wonderful story will begin? Little fairy tale story. A gift has no great meaning. And I think it says, it, his only object is to express a caring heart and eat me. And it has a magnetic clasp here. And it has a little note a notepad here with different designs little fairy tale in uh, blue color and in the middle purple little fairy tale story and in the back is there a different color no okay so two designs in each of these uh, notepads I guess you would consider these post-its but they don't have any stickiness to them so when you tear it out you would have to have a magnet maybe to put in your refrigerator for a grocery list or something or it'll just be something that you can make note of and put it inside of a book but there's no stickiness on the back like post-its and some stickers I do love these stickers. They're so cute. They have like gold etching around, just gold around all these hearts. It was February, so. And then this is a glue stick. Oh, I have plenty of glue sticks, but it's actually really cute. It's a Zim Pop made with Zim Pop. So this is a special original item that they add to the clothing uh the, the collection and in the november pack they added a pin the calendar in january uh i really i wasn't i wasn't a member in in january's pack but that calendar was really nice 
this is a was similar to a, my scholar box um, marker that that I had uh, it play color color your daily life a dual a pink dual tip pin with one extra fine and one bold in for writing or drawing it says all your notes will look so pretty so this pencil reminds me of Sailor Moon. In the name of the moon, I will punish you. Just have to like wave it around in the name of the moon, I'll punish you. But this is actually really, really cute. And it has the same little fairy tale uh, design on it. And this is the cutest pencil ever. I will have a hard time just to even use it. And actually, this is uh, made in Korea. This is actually that's kind of uh, kind of uh, interesting. It's made in Korea. It's a Japanese company, but it's made in Korea. And this is the last item in this box. And so they all they try to put these the, these boxes together to be used together. So, and then this item is the Harupai letter set. And I do enjoy all the letter sets that um, that were made in Korea or that are made in Korea or Japan. When I lived in Korea, it just there was just so many cute things that you can you can have, you can buy with with uh, letter paper. So this letter set has letter paper letter papers that includes eight envelopes, four stickers, four. In total, this box included 10 items. And we're gonna make some art with them. So I'm gonna get my Moleskin sketchbook and we're going to do these designs in here. This letter set, all. So I'm gonna glue it this way down. I'll probably glue it, I'll probably, okay, we're going to glue two of these, one next, one next to each other, blue, it's like blue blood, so I'm using a book binding um, tool here, I don't remember the name of this, um, it just, it's just not coming to me right now, and I just don't want to worry about that this second. It goes down blue, but I wonder if this glue dries clear. So I looked at them closer and I have two characters. I have Alice in Wonderland on the pencil. It's a, they're both little fairy tale, but this is Alice's story here. And it, this says a unicorn cafe, but this looks like Rapunzel. So we have Rapunzel and Alice. So I want to draw both these characters. So I love macaron and I used to eat them all the time in Korea and I found them at Whole Foods. They're not as good but they're they're okay. So if you're ever at Whole Foods you should try macarons there. So this is going to be kind of a collage in a way and I'm going to sketch on top. And the color scheme, I don't have a set color scheme going on here. I got lots of purples and blues. Maybe more purple. Or maybe about the same. Oh, now I remember. This is called a bone folder. I do miss making books. Basically, what I'm doing right now, I set for a little bit different, but yes. Did make books in a college, a book binding class. I'm not really that happy with this washi tape. After seeing all the wonderful washi tape from previous videos, it's so small. And probably it's so small because the agenda is really small. But, and it has, um, it's pretty basic. Uh, just uh, not really a lot of variation, just a lot of bow ties and bows and ribbons. But we're going to use it. 
and we got our spread never mind the X here it was a previous thing that I um, had an, in the sketchbook that um, I needed to redo uh, but give me a great great excuse to redo on this sketchbook and I even think it'll be awesome I'm gonna be using well I'm gonna use this just for this video really um, this is a 2B pencil which is actually a good pencil to, to, to sketch with uh, especially if you're going to use watercolor on top of it but I will just be not quite sure what I'll be using but I want to use uh, what's included in this box as much as possible pencil shavings you just take the top off like that and um. so I only drew Rapunzel I wanted to draw Alice too, but I only did one spread. And I wanted this to remain somewhat like a collage and unfinished. Like it's just meant to be a work in progress using stationery. Like stationery is meant to be in your notebooks, to be just your random thoughts. So this drawing is like something that you would doodle in your math class so like you would have your memos and then you would have your letters and Rapunzel here is a drawing that I doodled in my sketchbook I put a big giant macaron because or it looks like a big giant burger whatever you want it to be I put a big giant macaron behind the bunny and if I would change anything with this I would want to do a final piece with this with with no stationery with just Rapunzel and and do a background with the same color scheme that the memo pads included and I think more on the I'm leaning towards more of the purple memo pad than the blue I used the included marker, fine tip marker, for my line, my line art, and the marker itself worked really well. Um, if you, if I used it too much, then it would pick up the paper. But it was a good way to also doodle in your sketchbook or anywhere you would use these these note uh, memo pads. Now, one thing I miss from Korea is all the fun, uh, all the fun post-its, memo pads that you can get for so cheap, and it, you just don't find that here in America. And I, I just drew that big unicorn uh, behind that, behind them, and the actual masking tape. I wish there was more to it, um, but hopefully next time there will be much more to uh, the masking tape because masking tape art is is the what I love to do and what I have done before, and I have a lot of masking tape that I have from Korea that I should use more of in my sketchbooks, and I included a sticker at the end because why not? That sticker. Uh, is the final touch to it I never did decorate the March uh, for the agenda but that that will be something I will do down the road and I will post it on uh, Zimpop Instagram uh, the hashtag is in the beginning but I will do that maybe I'll get a free Zimpop box but I really think the $30 that I paid was really worth it for this box I got a lot of cool stuff and I'll be able to use it more uh, all the time. And even though it's not art supplies, it's all cool stuff that that you can use for your art. It inspires you to do do art, and it inspired me to do art with this. It might just seem like just random doodles, but that's what it was meant to be, random doodles. And I will do a final piece, but that will be another time and I'll also do something with the memo pad. But thank you for watching and see you next time. And subscribe and like the video. Goodbye everyone.